The Detroit Lions play the Seattle Seahawks tomorrow, and I can't wait. It seems like it's been forever since they've been gone. Shout out to Fort Minor. And I'm excited. Fort Field will have seen its first game in over nine months, and the atmosphere will be electric. It's kind of like two playoff games in a row with our team expected to not only win the division, but go to the playoffs. So it's going to be something interesting. I kind of wish I could be there, real talk. I I forgot what it's like to be at a game. But uh, very, very, very important to go and have a good time tomorrow. But we have a person that was moved to the 53-man roster, and that is going to be none other than our seventh-round pick, Chase Lucas, in 2022. According to a report from NFL Network's Mike Garofalo, the Detroit Lions are signing defensive back Chase Lucas to the 53-man roster. Lucas missed out on the initial 53-man roster but chose to sign back with the team's practice squad after receiving offers from other teams. Now he'll get his chance to make it on the field for Sunday's game against the Seattle Seahawks. Now, this is an intriguing move because this is not a game day elevation. So this is a move to the 53-man roster, which means there has to be a corresponding move to make room for Chase Lucas. Now, shout out to my guy, Mr. Poole, who believes it could be Emmanuel Mosley, and it also could be Josh Pascoe, but it will definitely be someone who has to make room because there has to be move uh, room made for Chase Lucas. I'll probably have another video about that later, depending on who it is. Well, whoever it is, I'll probably talk about it. But my opinion is, is it's probably going to be either Emmanuel Mosley or Josh Pascoe. If it's Josh Pascal, what does that mean? He didn't get hurt in the game. He got hurt in practice. And this guy, second round pick last year, right? Trying to, we know what he can do. We know he's he's like one of those guys that's on the precipice, on the cusp, if you will, of where he can be great, but he can't stay on the field. Reminds me a lot of like Deshaun Han or uh, what was the other guy? Austin somebody, Austin Bryant. He's kind of trending a little bit toward those. When those guys were healthy on the field, they could be dominant. But the problem is they can't stay healthy. Now, again, Josh Pascoe beat cancer, and that's fantastic. His story is amazing. And, and, and while we're rooting for him in life, we want him to be able to play for our team and be on the field. So we don't know yet who is going to be removed from the 53-man roster. That person will probably go on IR. And if it is... Emmanuel Mosley, that kind of fits, right? Make a room for some for somebody else, and that person is Chase Lucas. Now, the interesting thing about Chase Lucas is Chase Lucas, like Pride of Detroit said, remember, he didn't make the 53-man roster. We were rooting for him to do so. Then he had the opportunity to be signed to sign with other teams. He came back. He decided to come back to the Detroit Lions practice squad. And from the practice squad has been elevated to the 53-man roster. So he kind of wind up going full circle and wind up making it back to the Detroit Lions roster, which is super duper cool. So I'm kind of excited to see who's going to or what he's going to do, but more intrigued to see what is the corresponding move Hopefully it's not anybody like Taylor Deckard or anything like that. It's somebody who we could probably do without. And Emmanuel Mosley, he's a non-factor right now. Dan Campbell said in yesterday's press conference that he was better, but not quite there. So we shall see. Now, according to Pride of Detroit, usually that information comes out by 4 o'clock today. So we'll probably have another video saying who that person is. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Who do you think could be going to IR? How do you feel about Chase Lucas being elevated? I'm excited to see what he can do. He's got that spunk, man. We got a lot of gritty guys on our team. We have undrafted rookie free agents, seventh-round picks, Antoine Green, uh, Chase Lucas, guys making an impact on the team that have been taken in the later rounds or not drafted at all. So I'm excited to see what Chase can do. I like his attitude. I like his spunk, and we will see what he's capable of tomorrow as he'll probably get the nod. To be out there, we're probably going to see him out there with him being elevated to the 53-man roster. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.